So if you're looking at a tethered aerostat on a crisp day that's tethered in place, you're not going to see the actual cable going up to this aerostat because it's a no couple, uh, it's less than a centimeter thick sometimes. Uh, they use yeah. uh, metamaterials for these cables too. Uh, there's materials like Dyneema uh, that are very tensile, uh, very strong in the tensile uh, way. So they'll actually hold this large aerostat in place uh, while the buoyant lift of the craft itself is what's providing the time on station. Uh, the PTDS does it. Uh, you can have larger aerostats that are also tethered. Uh, KLD, uh, these high altitude ones, uh, will have uh, engines on them and fans on them that are capable of keeping their station. So even without a tether, uh, a large aerostat is capable of staying pretty motionless on station because they're relying on those cameras looking down. And obviously, if you're moving about, you've got a lot more uh, drift into your image than you would if you're able to keep a stable platform. Right. Uh, is, are any of these technologies, could it have been some sort of anti-gravity 